In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a pink splatter effect. I'll be using this picture for the example, and I'll leave the link for it in the description. And I've chosen this picture because it has a solid background colour, which will make this effect easier to create. I first need to duplicate this picture, so I'm holding my finger on the screen for a second and letting go so the options come up. And I'm clicking on Duplicate. So if I go to the Layers Studio, you can see there's two copies of it. And I'm hiding the top layer for now and I'm clicking on the bottom layer. So I basically need to replace the model with this background colour instead. So I'm going to the Selections Persona and I'm using the Freehand Selection tool. And I'm making a very rough selection around the model. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to cover here. Then I'm going to the Filter Studio. I'm going to Colours and I'm scrolling down to Fill. Then I'm changing the mode to In Painting. Then click Apply. And this can be quite glitchy so you might just have to give it a minute. Once that's done you can deselect. I'm going back to the Layer Studio. I'm clicking on the top layer and I'm bringing it back. Now I need to add a Liquify filter. So I'm going to the Filter Studio. I'm going to Distortions and then liquify and I'm using the push forward tool and I'm going to start dragging the picture out to the left but I'm making sure to not touch or do anything to the face or this side of the picture because that's what you will see most of. Once I'm happy with that I can click apply then to get the paint splatter effect I'm going to first add an empty mask layer. So by adding an empty mask layer, it means I can choose where I want to bring the picture back when I start painting with the paintbrush. Now I need to change my brush, so I'm going to the Brushes Studio. I'm going to Sprays and Splatters, and I'm starting with the Watercolor Drops brush. I'm changing the colour to white, which will reveal the picture, and I'm just going to start painting. To get more random paint splatters, you can click on more and then dynamics and then change a few of these like size, rotation, maybe flow to random. And I want to add a second brush, so I'm going back to the Brushes Studio and I'm clicking on the watercolour modulating drops. So now you can either leave it as it is, or if you want it to be colourful, you can add a gradient. So I'm going to the Adjustment Studio, and I'm adding a black and white adjustment. Then I'm clicking the plus, and I'm adding a fill layer. And I'm just dragging across the document. Then if I click on one of these circles, I can change the colour in the Colour Studio. And I can do the same with the other circle. And then I can change the blend mode by clicking on the three dots and then here and you can just go through the blend modes and see which one you prefer. But I think overlay might work the best for this one. 